we are given that vector a cross b is equal to vector b cross c which is equal to minus of vector c cross b. This can be written as a cross b plus c cross b is equal to the null vector. The left hand side can be written as vector a plus vector c in brackets cross vector b is equal to the right hand side which is the null vector. This implies that vector a plus c and vector b are parallel which means that vector b can be expressed as a scalar multiple of vector a plus c. Let's assume that that scalar is equal to lambda. Let's call this result 1. Now we are also given that vector b cross c is equal to vector c cross a which can be written as minus vector a cross c. This means that vector b cross c plus vector a cross c is equal to the null vector which can also be written as vector b plus vector a in brackets cross vector c is equal to the null vector. Substituting the value of vector b obtained in result 1 this means that lambda times vector a plus vector c plus vector a in brackets cross vector c is equal to the null vector which means 1 plus lambda times vector a plus lambda times vector c in brackets cross vector c is equal to the null vector. This can be written as 1 plus lambda times vector a cross vector c plus lambda times vector c cross vector c is equal to the null vector. Now vector c cross vector c is equal to the null vector which implies that 1 plus lambda times vector a cross vector c is equal to the null vector. But we are given that vector a cross vector c which is equal to minus of vector c cross vector a is not equal to the null vector. Therefore 1 plus lambda must be equal to 0 which means that lambda is equal to minus 1. Substituting the value of lambda in result 1 we get vector b which is equal to lambda times vector a plus vector c is equal to minus times in brackets vector a plus vector c. Moving all the terms to the left hand side we get vector a plus vector b plus vector c is equal to the null vector which is the required result.